The land route from Europe to the wealth of Asia had been cut off by the Islamic nations. So the expanding European powers searched for a new route. The Portuguese began sailing south around Africa, attacking African nations along the way and monopolizing that route. So Spain turned to Columbus's proposal of crossing the ocean to reach Asia. Columbus found islands just where he expected them. But he thought he was in the China Sea when he was really in the Caribbean. The Western Hemisphere was fully populated by about 100 million Indian people. The Northern nations had highly developed social system, stressing harmony and balance with the earth. Central Mexico was a network of stone city-states, home to the Mexica nations, inheritors of the great civilization of Teotihuacan. The Mayas of Yucatan and Guatemala had a fully written language. Their astronomy and mathematics were in many ways superior to Europe's. The Incas organized the Andean peoples into a system that provided for all their every material needs. The rainforest peoples, like the northern nations, stressed a way of life of harmony and balance. Columbus returned to the site of his colony on Haiti. He found it burned to the ground. The Spaniards had abused the Taino people, forcing them to be servants, molesting the women until the most powerful cacique on the island, Caonabo, came down from his home in the golden mountains of Cibao and killed them all. Columbus sent a messenger to Canoabo offering to make peace Canavo accepted, but Columbus seized him and put him in chains. Then Columbus sent the army to attack. The Tainos resisted, but their fishbone spears were no match for guns, cannons, swords, armor, horses, and vicious dogs. Columbus led the first Indian massacre. And when the Tainos were finally defeated, Columbus demanded that all Tainos become Christians and that each Taino in Cibao pay him a bellful of gold every three months. The penalty for not paying was amputation of the hands. The gold the Tainos possessed had been collected over many generations. And within a season, Columbus had it all. And the only way the Tainos could fill their quotas was to dig it from the river banks. And soon the streams were filled with whole families desperately trying to find enough in time. They began to flee to the highest mountains and remotest spots, leaving their crops unplanted. And famine stalked the land. But now, the Christians came after them. When the Tainos caught a Spaniard now, they melted gold and poured it down his throat. But Columbus still couldn't get enough gold. So he sent shiploads of Tainos to Spain to be sold at the slave markets. Word of Columbus's invasion spread quickly and now Wherever Spanish ships approached, the Indians no longer met them with gifts, but with arrows. Columbus's men captured the Taino leaders and killed them. Kaunabo, his wife, the beautiful and wise 
ana kaona hatui behetio guarionesh soon the caribbean fell to the spaniards and the entire taino nation were made slaves as well as their neighbors the caribs millions died as slaves on the plantations and the mines of exhaustion disease and hunger those hiding in the mountains saw that all was lost and thousands jumped from cliffs hanged or stabbed themselves or drank cassava poison and so the island of Haiti a land thriving with millions of people when Columbus arrived within a short time was almost depopulated but governor Columbus abused the spanish colonists just as he had abused the indians so the king disposed him and sent him home in chains Columbus's actions caused the deaths of over 2 million indian people he began the european slave trade in the western hemisphere he cast the mold for the genocide of the american indians even with him gone the mold had been cast the conquest and slaughter raged on <laughs> 